Hi everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room. Today I'm going to cover some envelopes um, with this beautiful napkin. I'm going to decoupage and I pulled out some other envelope, oh, not envelopes, I pulled out some other napkins that I might want to use that I've collected. Um, but I think this one, oh, this would go nicely with that actually. And I have tissue paper and I have matte medium and some paint brushes and some tape because you definitely want to pull the ply off the napkin. I bought these at Hallmark the other day and they were kind of pricey, but the images are just so beautiful. I couldn't help myself. I don't know if you saw that, but I put some tape on the back and it just helps. This is pretty too. Let me just move those aside. I think um, yeah, there might be another ply here. Let me experiment on the, uh, the back here. If there isn't, oh, there is. I thought there was. All right, so this was a three-ply napkin, and I'm confident that is it. Like I said, they were a little pricey at Hallmark, but they were gorgeous, and look how big it is. So I thought it was kind of worth it, and I thought it would just be so beautiful for a lot of projects, not just this one. So there it is. Gorgeous. So I pulled some envelopes. And I just need to decide, love this one right here, um, how to maximize. I think that's the way to maximize it the best because it is going to go in a journal like that. So that'll work. So I'm just going to take my envelope, put some matte medium down. You can use glue stick, it works just fine. So water down some white glue. I like the matte medium because it's um, not sticky on your finished project. It, it dries really nicely. Let me move this over. Hopefully I'm in camera. And I just love this image here. I think it might be better if I just do it the other way. Put the image down. And then I have to make sure I have it along here, straight. And then press it, and flip it over. Oh, so pretty. And then I'm just gonna come through, starting in the middle and going it out. I probably should have cut it down first because I'm gonna get matte medium on the other pieces. This is where you want to be kind of careful because the napkin will rip easily. It's only one ply, but I want to, um, see I ripped it right here. But that's okay. I don't even think you're gonna notice and I can come in with another little piece from another area of the napkin and fill that in. Or I could take some ink or some watercolor and just kind of fill that in. So I want that to dry. <clears throat> I am gonna cut this. And I'm gonna do another side. Uh, I should have cut this first, like I said. I'm going to set that aside and let it dry and pick another image, I think for the back, <laughs> which bird do I want? I might as well just go with the next one here, or do I want the backs to just be tissue paper? I might do the backs as tissue paper because I'm going to tell you why. I'm not going to, um, I'm going to do in here a different color. 
<clears throat> so I think it would be better because it would be easy to rip this. All right. So let me do two of these. And then I'll find a piece of tissue paper to show you how to do the back. All right, let me, um, should I do this guy here on the end? I might as well. I could get the little polka dot in there. It would be pretty. Carefully just add a layer to the top. Oh, that's dry and so pretty, the other one. Wait till you see it. So, so pretty. This napkin is fabulous and it'll work well in my Sparrow Hill journal or any journal where you can just send happy mail to a friend. I mean, you could put a label over this. How pretty would that be? Who wouldn't love to get that? I'm gonna set that aside to dry. All right, and then I'm gonna attempt, you know what I wanted to do? Let me try it on this. I've been wanting to use your creative studio. It might be too thick. Let's see. I've been wanting to use this. that logo but I think that it all I want the bird I definitely want the bird all right let's just go and see how this works how this turns out I'll put a layer of matte medium on it And set the bird on there, the butterfly. I'm gonna have the crease, but I don't think that really matters so much. I think it's gonna work. This is going to work. Now, I don't know that I can lift this up. No, I'm going to let it be. I didn't hit right here on the corner that well. I didn't line it up well, I should say. But I'm really just going to saturate this. I think the, <clears throat> I think the trick is this is going to be, need to be really saturated in order to work. But we'll give it a try, see what happens. Hopefully it'll stay on the other side. I just feel like maybe I should have put more, more matte medium, like really soaked it up there. Yeah, cause that's sticking a lot better right there where I just went underneath and loaded it up. So I might have to do another one like this. It'll stick down. If not, like I said, I'm going to try another one and really saturate the paper. Now, this is a different envelope, um, but you're going to get the same idea here about how to um, not get that on the inside. So, I'm going to take a piece of scrap paper. Let me grab a piece. 
care so much about. I'll just use this. This is here. Is that too big? A little bit too big. And I'm just going to stick that in here. So I don't get the envelope, I mean the inside. And then on the back, I just want to use tissue paper. I could use the back of the napkin, um, the white part if I wanted to. But let me grab a little piece of tissue from my box. My box of good things. I'm gonna cut this down some. it down. And then put a layer on the top. I like the crinkle. I think it makes it look kind of um, worn, weathered a little bit. So here's this one drying, and I have the other one drying, and I'll be back when they're dry, and I'm going to do the other sides. All right, so they're pretty dry now. Um, I took the Your Creative Studio paper and put it on the back, cut off the top, and made a little... Um, ugh, I was ready to glue that down, and it's not going to glue down because it's part of the envelope. So I made a little pocket out of it. So I thought that was kind of cute. And I did ink it up a little. Well, I could use a little more. I will tell you that using the matte medium, now I know I put a lot down on this. It keeps the cards um, envelopes wet for a long time. So I switched to glue stick when I did the other one. So let me show you what I did. I did this one, love it. And I did ink around it. Although a little more wouldn't hurt. It's still a little damp. I did inside here and then I put pink on the back. I'm not sure what I did on camera. So it'll go in the journal like that, which cuts the little bird's head off. So I may just kind of um, clip this into a journal page. But I love the way it turned out. So there's number two. Number three, I pulled out some yellow tissue paper I have just from the Dollar Tree. And um, this is that. I didn't ink it. So I think I will now. I am going to embellish a little bit on a couple of these, or at least one that I know about. Um, I don't know. I guess I do need to do it here. On this side. So all I did was I put the tissue paper here. Um, I used like a little card to uh, block this for the glue. And then I cut around it, um, either when it was dry or almost dry. And then I just did the inside. So let me get that inked. I thought it looked nice with the yellow. here. This one's pretty dry actually. And then the fourth one was this one and I inked it up. Uh, I didn't really ink in here and I didn't put any paper in here. 
I'm going to leave this part white on this one. A little ink around here. So this one will go into a journal like that. All right, so out of my bird ones, I have three, and I love each of them. Let me see if they're in, in, in frame almost. There we go. Um, one of them I want to put this, this ribbon down the side. I thought that would look so nice. It would look nice on all of them, honestly. I don't think I'm going to do this one because of the blue. Maybe. Um, I think I'm going to do it on this one. So let me just cut a piece. I think I'm going to use this maybe on the journal cover. I'm not sure. Uh, get my art glitter glue. And put it on the back of the, the ribbon. I'm not sure where I got this ribbon. Probably like Michael's. As a matter of fact, I'm 90% sure it was Michael's. But I love it. And I think it's so pretty. And I really haven't used it much at all. But here we are. We're going to use it on this. Because I think it would go so perfectly on here. And give it a little, give it a little something, something I think it needs. So let me cut this little leaf off or rip it off. Actually, I can attach it. Should I attach it on the bottom or up top? Maybe up top. I'm going to attach that up here. Yeah. Yep. Right, give it a good press on all of them. Cut the little excess off. That's pretty. And then I pulled out some <clears throat> sentiments or words or whatever you want to call them that I have. And I uh, love yourself more. I think these brown ones would go better. So let me just pull a couple sheets out. Flower. Let's see what I have going on here. Huh, I don't want to put April. Um, it's not a robin, right? None of them are robins, so I can't really use robin. Inspiration. Hmm. Chirp. Let's use chirp. All right. Let's some chirp going here. All right. Let's use that one. These are probably the same. Just in the thinner. And then I have this one. I guess that would go. Yeah, I had that one out. That one I didn't think it went so well. Um, let's see. Be constantly curious. I'm just reading through them. Uh, use your wings. There you go. We'll do use your wings. I'll just get it off the paper and then I'll trim it up. Um, take a breath. Creativity takes courage. I like that too. I'll do this. And maybe one of these could go on the um, 
Harmony Bloom. Bloom would be good. Yeah, bloom. It's so nice to be fairly organized in my room right now. <laughs> I still have a little ways to go, but um, I made a lot of progress. And I'm really happy with my progress. So, I cut this one out. I just feel like things are separated more into categories. And um, that way, when I go to do a project, I can just pull pretty much what I need. It's fun to go through everything, too, because, you know, some things, well, I found those bird stamps. But some things you forget about. Like when I made the little journal cards pockets the other day, it's it was like from a pack of paper that I would never would have used because I just wouldn't have found it. Alright, so these definitely need to be inked to get, to get that white off of it around the edge. these two. Creativity takes courage. Use your wings. Boom. Chirp. Kind of like that one on there. You know what I do like to do? I like to make them a little a little wonky and not so straight. I just think it looks better. I can't do much with the bottom because it'll cut off the words. What does it say about sharp? The characteristic sharp, short, sharp sound, especially of a small bird or insect. That fits. All right, I just have to decide where I want it. <clears throat> kind of like it up here. I just have to look at it from, well, I guess I'll put it in here. straighter than that. All right, he's cute. Chirp. All right. Next, I definitely want to say use your wings. So let me ink, ink around there a little bit. Uh, we had some terrible storms last night in Southern Jersey, uh, listen, not like, I mean, there was definitely damage, but not um, like uh, there have been in other parts of the country. And, you know, my heart goes out to everyone. What was it, Mississippi? Do I have that right? But today is Sunday. This isn't going to post probably until Tuesday. Um trying to get ahead a little bit on my videos only because I know it's going to be a busy week. Um, I'm hosting Easter and I'm pretty together, but you know how that goes. Right? I always find other things to do. I like that. Use your wings. I feel like maybe I could decorate a little more. I kind of like this on this pocket. Or should I have it down here? Or I could cut it apart and put it on. I 
let me see. If I put it like this in a journal, it's going to have an opening over there. Yeah, this is definitely the, the correct side to put it on. Creativity takes courage. I guess it takes the courage to fail. I mean, I certainly do projects that <laughs> are major fails. Um, I want to say not as much anymore, but that's not true either. I made, what did I try to do earlier? Oh, I was making little false, little faux um, wax seals. Woo, they were a disaster. I can erase that video. <laughs> I'll try again sometime, I guess, and then bloom. So, where do I want it? Be here. Bloom, the flowering state. I think it's pretty. This does not hit me as being fall. I love this color palette. Um, what else do I want to do on these? Anything? I love this one. With the green maybe i'll maybe i'll put a little more here and there i think it just makes it you know yeah let's 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 go for it i just think they need something else and this is so pretty It's not like I'm never going to find it again, because I certainly can. All right, use your wings. I don't want to cover the same. All right, that's cute. Like it's not super stuck right here. Ah, what happened? Maybe I should have used fiber tech. Let's try again. This will dry clear anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then right along here. Yep. those down get them to stick and then I'll cut off the little little tab here and the one right there I think it makes it what do you think and then what am I doing with this one maybe all the way up So I hope you like this project. I hope it inspires you to do something with envelopes. Like I said, I would just use glue stick. Um, the matte medium just soaked the envelope so much. I think that's good for card stock, but I feel like the envelopes were too thin for the matte medium. They dried. I mean, they're almost dry now, and I'm going to put them under a book for a little while to flatten them and make them nice and crisp. The tops don't want to stay. So pretty. I love it. What do you think? There's this one. This one. This one. And my your creative studio pocket. I hope you love it. Give the video a thumbs up. It helps push it out there in the world of YouTube. If you feel so inclined to subscribe to my channel, I would love to have you. I love your comments. I read every one, and uh, I love responding them to them. And have a great day. I really appreciate each and every one of you and spending some time with me today. All right, thank you. Have a great day.